look at the direct synthesis method when the process has a delay term. Now for this case the process is first order with a time delay. So when there is a delay term the closed loop response should also have the time delay simply because the controller manipulates the input and doesn't matter wh whatever the way controller is manipulating the delay between this input and output will be there. So you need to have the same delay for the closed loop response. Now if you have this this GP and this this closed loop response if you simply plug it in this equation you will end up getting 1 over GP will become tau s plus 1 k minus theta s and this term will be 1 tau CLS plus 1 and 1 minus Now if you simplify this term here, you will end up getting tau s plus 1 k e to the negative theta s and here it will be e to the power negative theta s over tau c l s plus 1 minus e to the negative theta s. Now you see that there is a nonlinear term in the denominator. Now to formulate this controller in the standard form we need to linearize this term. Now to linearize this term we can use the Taylor series. And to linearize around theta naught equals 0. Simply meaning that this linearization is valid when this theta is small, meaning we are linearizing around 0. And if we do that, e to the power negative theta s will be 1 minus theta s. Now, if we do this, plug in this value over here, we'll end up getting this gc to be tau s plus 1 over k this term and this term will cancel out and if you plug in that value over here we simply have tau cl plus theta s okay so now we get this controller in terms of gc to be if i separate these two terms we have 1 over k tau over tau cl plus theta plus the second term 1 over k 1 over tau cl plus theta s okay. now write it in the standard form is taking this 1 over k tau over tau cl plus theta out we have 1 plus 1 over tau s. Okay. Now compare this with the ideal form of the PID controller KC 1 plus 1 over tau y s plus tau d s. We have KC to be 1 over k tau over tau cl plus theta tau y equals tau and tau d equals 0. So this is our final controller. So when there is a process with a time delay and the desired torque response is also first order the same time delay will get a PI controller. Now again the direct synthesis method is giving the structure of the controller along with the controller parameter. 
Now, if you compare this with that, what the first order model without the delay, we saw that the Kc was 1 over k tau over tau Cl, meaning there was no theta term. So, in this equation, if you plug in the value of theta to be 0, you get exactly the same expression we got for first order model without a delay. And also for that case, tau i was tau and tau d was 0, meaning we got a PI controller.